Good morning, brothers and sisters. Uh, happy Pioneer's Day. My name is Clayton Harmon, for those who don't know me, and I am the son of Jeff and Rebecca Harmon. I am 15 years old, and I'm a varsity wrestler from Mountain View High School. You might be wondering why on earth would I want to wrestle some random kid on a sweaty mat for fun. Personally, I like wrestling because it has taught me how to work hard. The topic of my talk is uh, missionary work and the gathering of Israel. And the talk, Lift Up Your Heart and Rejoice by Elder Marcos A. Adekatis. He says, speaking specifically to the youth, President Nelson said that our Heavenly Father has reserved many of his most noble spirits, perhaps his finest teams for this final phase. Those noble spirits, the those finest players, those heroes, are you. President Nelson and Elder Educators are directing this talk specifically to the youth, young men and young women. I have been on a lot of teams with wrestling, and I've learned that you help each other out to be the best team possible. If I was the only one on my team, it would be hard to overcome my weaknesses and get stronger. Not only do I have a wrestling team, but I have a young men's team. Together we are working on strengthening each other and building the kingdom of God. President Nelson said that together the gathering Israel is taking place on both sides of the veil. On Tuesday, our young men's team and the young women's team get to go to do temp the temple baptisms. I am really looking forward to that. Last time I did temple baptisms, it made me feel really good inside. Elder Ada Cages goes on to to tell us again, especially the youth, that another way of gathering Israel is serving a full-time mission. Once I pass being 18 years old, I will leave the young men's team, but I will join a new team, the missionary team. This missionary team has around 54,000 full-time teaching missionaries and around 36,000 church service missionaries. That's a pretty big team. President Nelson called every young man and every young woman between the ages of 12 and 18 in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints the Youth Battalion of the Lord. He called it the greatest challenge, the greatest cause, and the greatest work today. Elder Adekata says the world tries to distract us from youth this month, from the youth, youth this most sacred responsibility from fear and insecurities. Sister Nelson encouraged the youth to stop comparing themselves to others. With wrestling, a lot of kids look at, look at their brackets before they wrestle to see who they are up against next. They also look at who the toughest kid in their brackets are gonna be. What I've discovered is that it actually lowers their performance level and makes them think more about the kid that they're gonna wrestle than they are good, at, than the moves that they are good at. What I do is that I don't look at the brackets and I just take it one match at a time, which increases my performance level. This has taught me how to not compare myself to others in life also. Elder Adekatis says, we were born at this time for a divine purpose, the gathering of Israel. When we serve as full-time missionaries, we will be challenged at times, but the Lord himself is our great exemplar and guide and guide in such circumstances. He understands what a difficult mission is. With his help, we can do hard things and he will be by our side and he will bless us greatly as we humbly serve him. And I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.